sometimes the clouds have faded in. I can see the rain has started and a storm, a symphony of voices is now approaching. Somebody say word. word. Welcome, y'all. My name is Ioka, and it's an honor to be here today. I have a dedication to, to our mothers, and I'm going to ask you at some point to sing with me. This is going to be our first TED Women Choir experience. And when it begins, I want you to just squeeze the person next to you and say, you can do this. In fact, <laughs> on three, let's try that. On three, one, two, three. Yes. My father named me after my grandmother. My name means I want to be respected. She does not know her beauty. She thinks her brown skin has too many flaws. If she could see her image in the Unogbo River where her mother was born, she would know. But the city holds no clear streams. West side streetlights shade the sunset's miracles and the concrete covers the soft memory of the earth's unborn seed. Black is the color of her press and burned hair. She thinks her curls are too tight and short. If she could feel her natural birth locks blow and Adamogija's fresh breeze on the hill her father once stood, she would know. But the girl does not know her beauty. She thinks her lips are too thick. If she could hear the Benin men whisper thoughts across the Atlantic Ocean praying to touch her heart, to win her for just one kiss, she would know. But the girl does not know her beauty. She chooses to believe that her eyes are dark and troubled. No one told her ebony was the color of the universe's wings. She thinks her nose is too flat, her breasts too small, her legs too long. She never learned how to dance, you know. Never learned how to run in the banks of a golden pond. Embrace her existence guided by the light of a tropical dawn. She forgets her name means Ivye. Precious child who harbors the beauty of an ocean pearl. She forgets she received her soul from her grandmother, adopted the spirit of her mother. If she could recall the celebrations they had at her birth, she would know. If I could reach her, she would mow, she would know. I would make it so there is cause for her to know that she is more than a motherless child, victim of an impressionable fate, helpless before an inconsistent society's interpretation of what beauty stands for. But I cannot reach her if she chooses to be blind. Only she can choose to see. But the city holds no clear streams. West side streetlights shade the sunset's miracles. And the concrete covers the soft 
memory of the earth's unborn seed. My name is Ioka Ivier Arabomenokwawo. Thank you. <laughs>